in the mix this morning. Thank you very much. We have uh, Dan. Long with the looks no. of things. Um, other headline news. More important. Well, I'm in charge. Big hit. So if you I worked on an American net like that, Dan, <laughs> instantly. <laughs> Yeah. Like that. It'll yes, be interesting to see that when one picture tells a thousand words, I think it's it's incredibly yes. telling, yes. isn't it? Yes. And it must be. It, it is a difficult. Well, it's a, it's a tremendous it turnaround. I mean, go no, it's a coalition. Do they remember it's a coalition? I often yes. forget. I think of it. Oh, it's a Tory government. Yeah. I, I keep mean, forgetting there's, this, there's the there's the coalition. We're going to, we're going to, thank you very John, much, thank Sue, you, John. Sue. Uh, still to come on daybreak. How to stop snoring, and a little. All that to come. And have you been up all night listening to something like this? That quarter past seven, the latest uh, where you are. First, though, here's all your news this morning with Lucy. It's cable later. The big story this morning is Cheryl Cole. Look, just uh, appearing, coming. I mean, she she definitely stands out from the crowd, doesn't she? she? Does. But remember, she's got a big deal with a certain hair company too. Maybe yeah, that's so part of it. So it's just all the products. That company has put all the products in <laughs> <laughs> to, vo to volumise. Is that volumisation? Well, vo it's, it's, it's volume. It's volume. volume. It? Definitely. Frank, Frank. Efforts of uh, Mary Perkins. Yes. Um, yes Britain's yes. first self-made uh, billionaire. -ess. If there's such a word, not great on a PR. Yeah. Well, you get over. two for one, don't you? Yeah, two for one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she she should have the Queen a special. Did the Queen goes to Specsavers. Why is not? A, a Why royal not? optometrist. I'm sure. Seventeen minutes past seven. It's Money Monday once again. Big week for eight million people as their tax credit renewal forms land on the doormat. Our money man, Martin Lewis, is urging all those who have to fill them in, do it now and don't delay before the deadline of the 31st of July. Martin, you have one minute to explain why. But you're talking about things going wrong. Um, Joe Morgan says it's another uh, bugbear of hers. I finished my contract on April 1st, looking for work again, and I can't get them to stop paying me. Well, nice, it is good news. Get the man yes. some socks as well. Yeah. A sufferer of it, you're uh, more than likely completely oblivious the effect you have. Yes, but if you're a partner of a sufferer, uh, you're likely endured sleepless nights over the years and even moved yourself into another room altogether. It's National <laughs> Stop Snoring Week and we've had some uh, cries for help from various people. Lauren Beasley said, my husband sounds like a dying elephant. I, mean, I actually know what a dying elephant sounds like, but well, I think we, we get the picture. So I uh, regularly make my way into another room, doesn't matter whether he sleeps on his front backside, tried nose strips, spray, other methods and medicines, nothing helps. What, what do you suggest? On your on your cheeks. Smile. Yeah, that's it. That's it. On those chubby that's cheeks. That's it. I know it's difficult. Right. For it's uh, nearly 25 past eight. A great new British movie coming out this week. The premise is quite simple. Teenage hoodies from the inner city are attacked by aliens from outer space. Here's a clip. <laughs> oh, young man, you're very good looking. Is a yeah. direct translation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well uh, done. Number two, please, Your Majesty. <laughs> Corgis. I think it's oh. Corgis. <laughs> okay. Yes. Not made to be seen on the streets of South London. It's got to be said.